Hello, hello. I'm at the San Pedro port area. Kind of wanted to stream here. I just hatched this magic cart. Let's put a 5k mag in. Got the stun fisk here. Got the venipede. It's not that much uh, going on Pokemon Go wise. Got some gifts here. Five gifts, all right. Ooh, a low and egg. Nice. Thanks for that twerk in my face. Thank you for twerking in my face. Let's see. Bushy bush. Alright. U.S. Post Office. That's kind of what brought me here. I have a memory as a kid of uh, being in this area with my dad. And uh, he had to drop something off at the post office here, which I don't really know is relative to me right now. Biblioteca. I know that's Spanish for a library from watching Community. Great show. Nice day out. Got my car back. Car and I are back in business. Feels good. Alrighty. We got a Cyndaquil here. Union Baptist Church. I never got shiny execute. Passing some kind of testing laboratory. I don't know what that's about. Petroleum industry movement. There's a Black Lives Matter uh, kind of protest. Uh, it's a line of cars on my way back home. So either I go that way and kind of join the movement or I go a different way. Uh, Probably depends how hungry I end up being. Got some Indian food at my parents, my family's house. So. All right, looks like we're in a bit of a nicer area now. Got a lot of stops to the right. San Pedro, Annex by LA. I love, I like having these, uh, gifts from kind of places that I've never been to before. Even though there's a Minchino, I wouldn't mind a shiny of that, I'll tell you that. But, uh, yeah, the streets are kind of not, not too many people on them right now. Got, got a, two executes here so far in this area. Got the Centret. I played a bit of sword earlier today and uh, I got a uh, those uh, those starters um, from sword and shield with their hidden abilities I evolved them up all the way finished uh, finished training uh, training their stats Pita of Oshawott. Got a gym to my right.
yeah, kind of a neat little area here. Meta gross in there. Kind of a weird thought like pulled me here today, and it was, uh, you know, I'm thinking about like I'm 28 now, and you still hear people like, you know, uh, kind of like I know some uh, women, and I, I do say ladies, women at my age, but they refer to like guys as boys. So it's kind of like. I don't know, it's kind of like a naive view almost. It's like, you know, at this age we're basically adults and so it's like men and women. That's basically, we're men and we're women. But it's like, the, the old language still is there. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, the context of the, of one of the contexts was somebody uh, describing a boy they're dating and he drinks, so that's like, okay. Yeah, that's kind of boyish behavior, but, like, more like, uh, I, I don't think boys drink, so I don't really know. Whatever. I'm overthinking it, so it's kind of funny. Um, I was thinking about women's intuition a little earlier, too. Um, basically, I woke up and just, like, started going, going ham on Quora. Um, which seems, like, pretty useful. Like, I've been answering and, like, just kind of following questions on there more. Um, you know, my ex kind of told me to move on, so I'm kind of trying to do that. Uh, it's not easy. Or like, like I've, I've never made, like, an active project of trying to move on from a relationship, now that in hindsight. And I've had, like, four, like, official, I guess, relationships. Not that there's any officiality with any of that stuff, frankly. But, uh... Port of LA, so that's where we're at now. So, yep, Cora is pretty cool. It's kind of like, kind of like life advice. It's kind of where you go. It's like for pretty good answers for life questions. Like, you know, it's a nice change of pace from philosophy, which is like the most abstract you get with those sorts of questions. And this is more down to earth, so it's kind of like applied philosophy almost, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I've never walked here before, it's nice. Especially in this weather. Had to get outside today a little bit. But, uh, Yeah, just like no events really in Pokemon Go. There's a Tepig, so uh, that's to the right. I'm gonna go there, and uh, I'm still on the. I'm still uh, working to Embor now, so I'll cross the street uh, if and when I can. That's probably yeah. I can up ahead. I'm at like a freeway entrance now, which is kind of interesting. Don't really have much work to do today, which is nice. Uh, gotta... I got a school assignment due on the 30th, so I got 26 days, and I'm already, I made some pretty good headway on it, so that's fine. Venipede. I, I, I'm seeing a lot of Venipedes, but I feel like I, uh, I think I already got a Scallopede in here. I can check. No, I don't have Scallopede yet. I'm just kind of, like, indifferent, I guess. 
be getting in here. Lily, shiny of that would be nice. So, yeah, there's a lot of stops here, like, along the port, which is really cool. There's a gateway of some kind. Tangle. I think that's probably grass type. I could do that. Uh, I need to clear my bag, though. And uh, if it's a grass trainer, I don't know why he's suggesting I bring right here. here. This only shows me what I could use in the battle. I've never used the star piece before. Let's see if it's a grass trainer. Yeah, execute. Well, whatever. You can try it out, see how it goes. So far, not well. It looks like it has a super effective attack, I think, it's using on me. Go ahead and block that. Get the skull bash off. Uh, I'll just bring Salamence. Tyranitar is really a last resort here. Got a, okay, I got a fire move, so that's that's a good suggestion on the on the system's part. The auto decider's part. Shift tree. Yeah, okay, cool. Looks like we got this one in the bag. Salamence was probably enough, honestly. Alrighty. So I think we get Execute, which I think I already... Oh, nice! Shadow Ivasaur, that's awesome. Yeah, because I think I already had Shadow Execute, so that's awesome. Might not be that easy to catch, though, so... Alright, <laughs> it's my first excellent throw in a while. Uh, but it was still red, so let's see if we can get it with that. Yeah, we got it. Awesome. So I think that might be my first shadow starter. Uh, I think. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and purify that. I might have already had Ivasaur now that I think about it. Purified Ivasaur. But, uh, we'll check, and, uh, so we got an award for the excellent curve throw. Let's see. All right, cool. Got some experience. That's good. Yeah, I already had it. I should have kept it shadow. Oh, well. It's another rocket trainer. Multiculturalism at the fountain, that's kind of cool. The buff physique, so that's a fighting trainer. That seems kind of interesting. I'm gonna clear my bag though. Yeah, pretty cool surroundings. Glad I came out here. Uh, get rid of a bunch of Pokeballs. That's pretty much what I do. All right. So yeah, we already hit these stops on our way, on the other way. San Pedro Promenade. See people walk in there. 
I think the post office I mentioned earlier was, uh, I think it's up ahead to the right, maybe. I just remember a kind of historic looking area, which was cool. And I think it's probably ahead to the right, maybe. So I'll kind of drive through and see. Polaroid love. Mural art. I didn't... Okay, I, I see that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mexican Hollywood Monument. It's interesting. San Pedro Annex by LA M Monument. Cat rat. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool to walk along the water. I like how Pat Rat and Lilip up are right near each other because they're the black and white kind of like early game normal types. Pig and I got another candy. I know we were kind of looking for a uh, Tepig, but didn't end up getting it. We got derailed by the rocket. Rocket grunt. Grunt's kind of a funny name and not like thinking about it. It's like you grunt when you, uh, you know, it's like you just like say yes to whatever you're ordered to do. So you're a grunt, I guess. You're just like, okay. I guess that's what makes a grunt a grunt. So. There's a pillow on that on that uh, railroad that's kind of interesting it's like somebody gonna sleep there I don't, I don't know it's kind of weird tempted to Instagram that it's kind of a morbid thing though I'm not huge on morbid humor I mean I, I can kind of like laugh in the moment but it's not like what I go for myself you know Like, like, desperate humor is kind of, meh, I don't, it's not really, yeah. So many stops ahead, holy crap, look at that, that's an insane. This is a good place to come for community day, now that I'm kind of opening myself up more to the surrounding community. Um... Holy stops. That would make a great thumbnail for this video. But uh, I applied to the Pokemon company uh, for, for jobs uh, yesterday. That felt pretty, pretty cool to do. Says it tracks you're out of service. So Got a few cop cars coming down this street. Float floor water fountain show. I think I know what that is. I think I know what that is. So many stops here, it's insane. If I had more like space in my bag and stuff, I would totally exploit that. I watched Super Bad last night and Michael Sarah kind of got in my head again because I'm kind of like talking like him, I can tell. It's like very kind of uncertain and uh in a funny way, I guess. Not that I'm saying I'm funny, but wow, so cool. This port. So cool. Battleship Iowa, that's across from me. That's really, that's really crazy looking. I think I gotta Instagram that. I gotta end this stream, guys.
Nothing interesting. I got I got purified Ivasaur, but I already had it, so that's not really interesting. I heard what might have been a gunshot, so I'm out. Peace.